much. Okay. Anyone, anyone else? Um, th this has sparked a thing that I forgot about, um, which is, and I, I, I kind of raised it with him earlier on. So there's this, in all your paintings, there's this, the women have scarves, right? And, um, and it's really funny how, like, from an, from a, an economic class point of view, you can see scarves as different things, right? So like a woman, like the woman in the red and the woman, the woman in that painting. <laughs> and then like there's a deeper life house girl kind of <laughs> scarf tying. And then there's a rich auntie kind of scarf tying. And um, but scarves have played such an important role in, in your paintings, painting. So yeah. I mean, the first time I saw his work was 2014. And I quickly started, I liked it because of the way he played on light and darkness and i also noticed that a couple of people that paint similarly but one of the quick ways for me to <laughs> distinguish his own work from the pack was scarves and those scarves were yellow and which you yeah he started to paint different colors now but yeah but I'm, i've also noticed something here is you started to show hair so my previous thinking was one of being like having this very conservative, um, oh, this person needs to be covered all the time. This person needs to uh, be modest. Mm. And then we're seeing, we're starting to see people show their hair, uh, be more expressive with who they are in, yeah. quote, in, in the paintings. What's, what's, is this something, one, what has led to this first question? And then is this something that we'll see more of in, in the future? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, in regards to the scarves, um, I know first of all it has to do with my training because the person I trained on the Ebenezer Akinola, he paints um, male figures tying turban, women tying scarves, and uh, so. And I just, I found myself painting scarves, and then I asked myself a question: Why? do you paint scarves and turbans it was then it told them that everybody they are they are things that we all pass through that we bottle up so these scarves and the turbans and everything is oh beautiful wow it shows people from a particular or shows them um the outward uh should i say uh like presentation of presentation self. of self like okay i seems you know people that try they take that as morally upright Quite, yeah so but my interpretation of painting figures with scarves shows that everybody irrespective of the class are the same in terms of bottling or passing through one pressure or the other we okay. tend to cover up the pressure we pass through Except we are being asked, or that's when most times we open up. Mm. So this is it's oh scarf, yeah. but the mess on the line message is my way of saying we are almost the same yeah. in terms of what we face and, and how we cover it and how we cover it. Some can decide not to even open up; they bottle it forever. Why some? Well, as soon as they find this person is trustworthy, they share they sure. the challenge with the person. Interesting. So would we be seeing more of... Because I'm looking at the lady in blue. Uh, like I said, the, the, the paintings, the lady uh, in that with her hair up and then the other one with her shower cap, which is interesting. Uh, um, and I'm like, one, one thing I really noticed with the interior paintings was these were women who seemed to be in control of their lives just the presentation of it like and then the sort of um uh, things you you have put in their immediate space right when you think about and which also speaks to the timelessness i was speaking around before like if you are a person who is taking time out to either sip a glass of wine and actually look at the plants that are in your immediate surrounding take care like that means that there's a lot of um, yeah, they, like you've ascended beyond a certain degree of concern in your life, right? Yeah. So, um, and then you're 
able to now say, um, okay, I'm I'm not going to be not I'm not going to be interested. A certain degree of things would not bother me, and I would you know sort of um, focus on certain other things that are should I say a little tender, more tender than the hardness, the hardness, the hardness in life, yeah. and. Um, Interestingly, so seeing that lady with the hair, uh, hair out brings a new sort of... Because I'm looking at this with the sort of lens of I know where Raji is coming from. And are we starting to see more, you know, express... Would we see yeah. more expressive women, like, in, in, in your work, like, going, going forward? Yeah. Could that say... You, that's, uh, you can see more. Okay, that's yeah. that's an interesting see one. More, and you can see the paintings, although the ones with, um, except for one, you're going to see that have like their um, paintings. Yeah, in the paintings. In paintings yeah. Yeah, exactly. In the paintings. Yeah, 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 I noticed that. Paintings yeah. of the paintings. Yeah. Like for the other, the one there, August. Um, the model there is my wife. Um, talked about how she has been like part of uh, Your life. My, my life and good in regards to art the flowers there talks about still my mom yeah why the painting behind there is like in, is like to my boss yeah I, 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 just said it, I was just like i saw that red and i was like that's a Ebenezer. Ebenezer Akinola. yeah so that painting and the title of the painting yeah. is august august yeah my wife was born in the month of august yeah my mom was born in the month of august, august. and ebenezer ebenezer akiola gave me like one of the um uh best ad of the greatest advice that's helping me now in august oh wow so interesting so now linking the three of them Come together, together yeah. to that painting yeah. august okay. and all the paintings and you because i love uh, um bring fusing painting to it like boils down to the fact that me being an artist and people enjoying my works and show it shows the part that i as well love the works from other people yeah. so i have to bring in this painting to, to be in my All painting paintings, yeah. So I know there are more with yeah. that yeah. you see paint even and we wish we'll move on to the um, um the abstract painting because yeah. the there was a particular piece I did titled the collector yeah. to like the paint the last series was mainly to appreciate the collectors that have like have been like I've been collecting my work from the yeah. beginning yeah. till now the painting of the figure and paintings of other artists yeah. behind even yeah. if it's in an abstract form yeah. but looking at them very well mm -hmm. it's not here. I know, I know. I wanted looking to at looking at them, looking at them yeah. very well, you you would see you would liken those paintings to different mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. So, um, fusing that to but well, now okay, as an artist, we to stand we, as yeah. um, like collectors of oh. what we it give want, out to the world. To the world. Interesting. Um, so I would um, I'll, I'll now move to the abstract paintings, um, which are uh downstairs i think we have this one here um that's uh, the new sign of progress well i i think the first time i saw an abstract work from raji i was surprised because i was like okay like where's this coming <laughs> from and where's this where's this going to that because i'd never like i would i funny funny story was i saw it in a friend's house right. and he was like oh i was like who is this i was like raji i was like uh-uh and he has like three works from you that I really, really like. Like, I already is doing stuff like this now. And then I went for another exhibition last year and I saw your uh, your your abstract work. It, it, I, first of all, I first of all want to ask, um, why, one, why are you doing that? One, in terms of experimentation, and then where do you see that leading to? Those, let me first start to those two questions. I think it's, it's good to start from, okay. from, from yeah. there. Uh, in terms of um, the um, abstract um, part of Raji, you know, as um, a ball figure, if you can, during my training days, I was being told by my boss that, do you know that apart from mm. this, what, you, what I'm training you, do you know that there is another part of you that 
you've not explored i said uh, i don't think so mm -hmm. because i am more of right from there I'm more of okay i want to become i want to be a figurative painter i want to be uh, a figurative painter i love figures i love other forms but i want to be yeah he said don't worry the time will come i won't tell you nobody will tell nobody will force you to and i was um i think it was okay now it's four years ago mm. and i started I, I think that was when i was introduced to acrylics yeah and i um by um uh, mr Byodin olaku and i was like okay there is something i that period i was i just i wasn't in the mood to paint the, the normal gaji yeah and okay what is this what is this why this urge and i started on paper i started um playing with uh, acrylics on paper mm. but irrespective i was still drawn to the figure well, yeah. even if it wasn't detailed it was just more of colors yeah. applied on paper in like in a silhouetic form mm. will have a lot of colors mm. And looking at it, I was like, wow, this is nice. I really love this. And I think I can um, do more on this. I started like um, more of texturizing papers, um, fusing, um, gluing papers together to um, um, get this. I was like, okay, wow. And I said, okay, I think I have to do this. Yeah. This is something, it, it, it's like me interesting to me. Yeah. I didn't show it to anybody. I was just like doing that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That period, I produced more than 15 of those kind of works on paper. Yeah. And I think the first time I showed it to uh, a senior friend. Yeah. And he asked me, wow, who is this artist? I said, it's Raji. <laughs> it was like, are you serious? Or yeah. are you? Yeah, I said, yeah, I'm yeah. not serious. This is Raji. He said that they for say I said no, these are just experiments. Okay. I say, you know what? I want I want all oh, of them. Yeah. Wow. I was like, ah, uh, all of them. I said, no, this is just he said, look, you don't understand. What I'm saying, I'm like, oh, and I think even the next set, one is hanging there. Mm. It's there. They're close to that door. And okay. I, the first time I showed it, when I um said I now sent some to um miss Fugoma, she was like wow right, these are lovely i love yeah, this yeah. i was like ah, ah. Hey, this thing me i was just like um, around with. like playing with and and then there was okay but okay raji what are you trying to i said i now thought they say identity series yeah. like it's okay identity series explain so i was on that now explain that we all have different it's just like me okay i believe i only had one identity yeah. in regards to painting mm -hmm. um uh the, uh, more of detailed figures mm -hmm. and so not mm -hmm. knowing that there there is another part mm. of me that i didn't know exist mm. existed inside of mm. me and that led to that series and when i said okay i think on uh, on paper let me try and you know working on paper is different from working, working on, on canvas, canvas yeah. it's okay let me try on canvas i think the first try on canvas was a mess i just yeah. abandoned <laughs> okay irrespective of that this yeah. is this is a new yeah. um phase yeah. i need to do and i think i've um, done a lot of series for like three years and i said last year i'm going to like put a body together yeah. and have so to let every because yeah. people have been like people ha have been collecting them behind the, the scenes, scenes yeah. so it's okay let me have a um, yeah. um, um, an exhibition, a mm. solo exhibition, mm. whereby I'm going to show this body of works mm. together yeah. and make everybody know there is another part mm. of Raji that you all don't no. know yeah. about. Okay. That was what, yeah. like, and that was the um, genesis of, of the of explorative that. works. Oh. So I wanted to just ask to sort of um, feed on that, right? So in a lot of your abstract works, I mean, you've still discussed this thing about the figures being there. And then there's a lot of, um, um, one, I still get to see feminine figures. That's one. It's <laughs> still very present. And there's, the technical uh, thing. Yeah, so, and then there's this, there's something you just said right now that is um, a bit uh, interesting, right? So it's the whole sense of identity. Um, so you, you had been known for doing one like you have your you have your Raji style of painting and then you've gone to do something else one thing i wanted to bring out to was so looking at so looking at your work and looking at your pu pure normal figurative stuff 
and then your abstract stuff and seeing that in every abstract thing that you do there's this figure that's usually either like there are no details on it it's black either blacked out or grayed out or colored out right and then thinking about how you've also said like you experiment with identity in those works two two things right one i think that and uh, maybe this might be something that you have thought about i think that in this more detailed figurative stuff you are telling a story yeah and then with the abstract stuff you are asking the viewer to place themselves in a situation is that uh, is that a, is that a correct assumption and if i'm wrong which i think i'm maybe 99.9 percent .9 probably wrong <laughs> uh if i'm wrong then it'll be interesting to hear what you have to say but i think like every time i see the painting i'm like okay how does this relate to me as against what am i getting out of this and i think is that quite is that like what you're trying to pose to the viewer okay. yeah okay yeah like i said the first the first um series i work in the, in the spl which mm. uh, works uh, the identity series mm. well after the identity series i've like migrated mm. to other series under the explorative mm -hmm. series i have some that talked about like talked about migration yeah i have some that talked about our lagos like eco yeah. for shoes series, yeah. the ones with yeah. the yellow the yellow yeah, background the and the black yeah, stripe the yeah i have um some that they are they are that just talked about life in general, general yeah. so you know you start from a particular point and mm. that point is okay i can't rely i can't just hold on here mm. there is more they they have this of like i think more of the explorative works like okay that we have some societal issues there mm. suddenly i am using the explorative works to, to to bring out to bring out mm. and you know growing up in lagos and all the lagos life i like to and i think the what doing the um when we were having the migration issue, that was when I worked on the migration. Like, what ha what's happening within that period? Yeah. That is, um, that I just okay. How do I tell the story of my explorative mm. works yeah. and not cause any problem? But yeah. how do I tell this story, this, yeah. this story? Yeah. So yeah. I just okay, put on um, two. Uh, okay, this is the way I'm gonna go about it. Yeah. And I have to even like there's the explorative work and there is the in between. Yeah, that have some of the diffusion between the yeah. abstract and the regular yeah, raji yeah. so um it was like the in between yeah so and that has to do with details and you have some parts not details so, yeah so you have the fusion of both of them mm. together so that's the explorative or like this piece here the new sign of progress, progress. Yeah. Anything that has to do with Lagos now yeah you must see the lucky link bridge yeah so it's like on like those days you see the sign of the national um, theater. national theater um the um, th uh, is in night tail building yeah you yeah. see that but now yeah even in movies and music everything every yeah. illustration yeah. everything it has to do with both in yeah. nigeria and outside yeah. if you want to depict lagos because, it yeah. has to, to do, do with the bridge, the bridge. Yeah. okay cool interesting um so you dodged my question <laughs> which is oh. <laughs> which is so like in all of these things is 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 the i know a lot of people try to always think about the meaning of the work i'm very agnostic about that like i don't sometimes i think that um, artists like it's their duty to paint and then it's the duty of the viewer to sort of interrogate yeah, interrogate yeah. the work um so my own like the meaning i get from those works is that from the abstract stuff especially is that i'm trying like I'm, i always find myself trying to situate myself in what's being told to so, sort of come to an understanding a what i would hope would be a better understanding of the situation so like for example the migration series right it's like okay i'm am i like am i really am i the question that i asked myself then was do I really understand what's going on? So it's, and, and that might have been a result of you sort of saying, okay, you know what, I'm going to put this thing out there. And then I expect people to, you know, really, really think yeah, through true. what they are going through. Mm -hmm. So it will be interesting to, it can be a very yes or no 
question are you trying to get people to actually you know because figurative stuff is is figurative stuff sir, is easier easier but, but abstract stuff like it, it's challenging yeah. so are you trying to you know like put people in a point where they're actually thinking yeah about not just the work spark but, a um, conversation uh, exactly but yes. life itself yes okay cool yes. that's that's very that's very interesting um i would um, we're almost out of time but i would just go through i just wanted to speak about the drawings so he has a this uh, beautiful wall here of drawings um there, there, there are very many quotes about drawings that I, that I like personally as a person who like attempts to <laughs> draw things. Um, but there's this one I really like, which is um, learning to draw or even drawing itself is a manner of um, learning to see correctly. And that means a good deal more than merely, merely looking with the eye. Um, beyond, I, I, I think the way we have uh, the way art has sort of evolved right we've gone beyond i mean there's a lot of beauty in figurative stuff but it's it's always there's always still like meaning in art is very subjective right yeah and one thing art does for us as a people is that it gives us the ability to see or it hones our eyes to see beyond the surface, the surface yeah. right and yeah. I, I think drawing is one of those is to me drawing is the uh, beyond being the foundation of anybody's art mm. practice drawing is also um a um a test of honesty right i i think it's where you actually want if you are trying to interrogate your development and yeah. where you're going to next yeah. It's. I, I think for most people, it starts with pencil. Yeah, paper. like a kickoff point. It's a kickoff point, and then even in attaining or getting closer to that mark, drawing still gets you there. Yeah. Um, I noticed. So in all of these things now, I was going to. I was going to mention this is everything that we've seen of your work is they're very female, very feminine, all women, female subjects. But in this drawings, we have drawings of men, and these men look very, very tough. Um, <laughs> as in, like, there's a quiet toughness <laughs> to them. There's a quiet, <laughs> like, like if you mess with these guys, your life is gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, but, it, it, but it's cool. <laughs> but it's cool. Like, it's like it's like it's there. So I wanted to ask, what your um, I mean, like, which is, it's almost the inverse of the question I asked before. If you think it's easier to humanize the tender things, the more emotive things with women and children. You, you had mentioned something about the innocence of kids. And then looking at all these paintings and thinking, okay, you know, I can do this. This, this paintings are meant to tell Raji's story. But Raji is telling that story with women as the vessel. So when you think about men, maybe this is me, and this is why I also think that like drawing is very honest. Like when you think about what it means to be a man, and you're a guy, yeah. What what does that mean to you, and and how does that sort of feed into your? Because yeah. I'm, I'm sure because I've seen, I've I've seen a couple of paintings of guys that you have. So it's like they're always tough, always always tough. So it, it will be interesting to understand why. Yeah, um, you know, the reason why is that there is this societal conditioning mm. about men that yeah. even if you are passing through stuff, mm. you have to be manly about it. What does manly mean? You have to be. Yeah. You have to be. You have to be in control. You have to. No, but you have to. You have to be in control. You have to be in control. You have to be in control of your. You have to be in control of your emotions. Mm. You have you don't let it out because seeing you as the emotional one didn't seem that you are weak. weak. That was why I said that men love flowers as well yeah. because we want these things that um, there's this um, societal perception about mm. um, what women want. Mm. Men too, they want it. If you give a man flowers, he will tell you thank you. But the society will make you feel that that flower is not enough. 
Yeah. You need to add singlet and boxers to it <laughs> to complete it. Yeah. But you know there there are things that when you are used to when you are used to certain things when people now do the uh, go the extra oh, mile wow. for you yeah. you are in this kind of um our mood that wow yeah. i didn't know that there is something beyond, beyond yeah. what people used to do for yeah. me yeah. and because of the responsibilities being placed on men and that that's indirectly you have those dread like look see you get perspective of how we want to you won't do your fine boy sorry yeah. for pigeon speaking pigeon yeah. you get perspective of how you want to see the responsibility is they wait for you yeah, yeah. so you is this toughness that is being expected mm. of men in the society it was just like okay let's just start me language traffic and yeah. someone bashes your car and yeah. you now go there and say, oh you hit my car yeah your wife will look at you is that what you, you tell that man <laughs> can't you shout at him yeah, yeah you know you saying that you just hit my car you know it gives it's that diff- yes ah, that's yeah. the that's my husband yeah, yeah. not that you hit my car <laughs> I you know you, so that's it but if 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 it's a woman that says okay ah uh, madam sorry no vest you know the person that even hits your car would yeah. even be calm but you as a man that they hit your car when you come out and yeah they will yell at you too yeah. Yeah. So when you come and so you hit my car, yeah. the person yeah. here now you be first person with the eating car. Yeah. Yeah. So you understand that responsibility, that societal conditioning about how a man should respond, and what a man should do. Mm. It's the yeah. reason why right. they join. You can see the women are soft. Yeah, yeah, fresh, so the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the. But I've never seen a soft man in your sorry. Like I've never <laughs> seen I've never seen like a tender, a ten, like I, I, and I've seen a lot of your paintings, right? Um, um yeah, I've never seen a tender a tender man in in any of your paintings. So that that's and even in your drawings. So it just like I just thought of, to myself I, I've seen a great um quantity or a great number of works from you and I've seen stuff about men and i mean maybe this is me challenging you right or maybe this is me just i should i should yeah i I, I think like because like to me if if there's a uh um there's this always you know one of two things happens you you've said you're interrogating that conditioning but you are almost perpetrating it so that's one yeah um so it'll it'll be interesting i think like it'll be interesting to see what your interpretation of a man who is free from all just just like just like just like the way i'm moving the women from from from, yeah for exact just the way you've elevated women from that labor of what it means to be an african woman right or what's in quotes like that definition that should die right yeah. is it would be interesting to see what your interpretation of a tender not not necessarily even tender a man who is free from 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 this yeah yeah shackles right yeah what what that you know be like? it, it, the 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 reason yeah. why sorry for quoting no, 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 the, the reason the reason why talk like this or this was like is so important is because now yeah. you're saying this yeah i'm thinking about my blank canvas at home yeah that this is a, this this is an issue that needs to be resolved yeah and how am i going to resolve it yeah my papers yeah and yeah. my canvas yeah so yeah. it means that i'm not promising yeah yeah no, it's interesting the next yeah the next yeah. the next you do okay oh wow the next project from raji you just say we love to be tender <laughs> we love to be no we yeah. love to be taking care of what was this yeah. exhibition you just see men you know yeah. um having yeah more you know even it. having this me and you sitting yeah. down taking pictures of us yeah. is even the painting composition on his own Interesting, yeah. men cool enough yeah so on yeah. a cool morning yeah so, so yeah you see yeah. you i get what you mean uh-huh I get what you mean. so okay. this is I'm um, sorry, please. Is there anybody taking pictures of us? Because I think we are, I have to paint this moment. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is it okay? Yeah. 
Aha. Uh -huh. So I think I think uh -huh. Uh -huh. the next series. So I think I have um I've tried to push a b um, elevated one. Yeah, you need and to. Now putting myself yeah, down. Yeah. So now we need to. It needs to be balanced. Balance, so yeah, I have yeah. as this yeah. is moving up. Yeah. The order it's, is moving yeah, up. Yeah. So now that that should be the next project. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just end by saying um, the interesting thing about all of this is that it, it takes me back to the beginning of this talk, which is you started this project with a sketch of yourself holding a flower, depicting yeah. the thing that you want. You said that you might try to do. And I think like you'd already started on that phase and it will be interesting to see how like moving that forward will be. So um, I'll see if anyone has questions, um, it will be good once more to take those questions. But I think um, uh, we've, we've closed the conversation and the conversation <laughs> has ended with new openings. Yeah. So um, it will be interesting to hear what anyone has to say and otherwise we might just call it a day. Questions? Ugoma? Sorry, I have to point to you first. Why, why do you have you to just. Point? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really matter. Well, I think I'm, I don't have a question, but I wanted to just, first of all, maybe add, just make a comment. I'm glad because I heard some people talking about this idea of um, like the idea of like um, being in the moment, being present, and being present. Mm. Yeah. 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 Y
So um, that's all I have to say. So <laughs> thank you so much. And, You're welcome. Um, something can rub off with Tosin okay. from this experience. Yeah. Thank you. Tosin, questions, <laughs> comments? <laughs> oh, waste time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> None? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. So I, I guess we've. Um,